We are currently receiving downlink video from inside the, the shuttle Columbia. As you can see inside the space lab module, it doesn't matter whether you walk on the ceiling or the floor. The weightless environment of space allows the astronauts to be able to work on experiments from just about any angle. Um, we need you to try to diffuse the light a little bit more. Okay. Pilot Kent Rominger continues to show video from the handheld diffusion test cell, which is a protein crystal growth experiment. We are still receiving live video from inside the space lab. We can see that there's a portion of both the red and blue team inside the module at this time. Looks as though they're posing for pictures. This electronic still camera that allows uh, digital, digitally processed electronic signals to be sent to the ground so that we have a way to view still pictures during real time during the mission. In the center of the screen is payload specialist Al Sacco, who is holding a banner from the Worcester Polytechnic Institute, where he is from. Al Sacco is also the principal investigator for the zeolite crystal growth experiment that is being flown on board this United States microgravity Laboratory 2 mission. Columbia Houston, uh, we've got a good downlink of camera delta. Great, Houston, looks pretty up there. Sure does. This is Mission Control Houston. We are receiving television from Columbia's payload bay camera as Columbia flies over the Pacific Ocean at an altitude of about 165. Like passing right over Hawaii. Yeah, unfortunately, we've got the uh, window shades in to keep the uh, lights under control during the TV stuff, but uh, and it all looks a bit cloudy as well, but it's a shame. This view of the Earth from 165 statute miles from the payload bay cameras on board Columbia. In just a few minutes, we will be going on to the We'll be going on to the flight deck of Colombia, where Mike Lopez Alegria will participate in an interview with two Spanish radio stations, Cad Cadena Ser and Cadena Cope. Columbia Houston, let us know when you're ready for us to come inside. Columbia, this is Kalina Sir. How do you hear me? Loud and clear, Kalina Sir. How me? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Te paso antena, Miguel. La tecnología apunta para descubrir el, el espacio y precisamente aquí los tenemos ya. Estamos en contacto con eh, Miguel López Alegría. O sea que a estas horas Miguel López Alegría puede estar escuchándonos. Nos está escuchando en este momento. Miguel. Sí. 
Buenas noches. Buenas noches, ¿qué tal? Oye, ¿Dónde te encuentras ahora? Descríbenos un poco cómo, cómo es el interior del Columbia. Bueno, aquí tenemos como dos salas, el, el, la cabina y el, uh, una sala que es más o menos como el dormitorio, el, uh, la cocina, donde hacemos uh, unos experimentos y también tenemos un módulo de, como es un laboratorio, en la parte de atrás, en el compartimento de carga. Entonces yo estoy ahora mismo en, en la cabina de, de mandos y aunque tengo todos, todas las ventanas cerradas para quitar la luz, para que salga bien uh, en televisión, te puedo decir que estamos sobre las islas de Hawái ahora mismo. Yeah, go ahead, Fred, switch to the zone. Yeah, that sounds good. We're just standing by. We're seeing uh, the shape of the interface or uh, liquid to air uh, boundary, the uh, separation point between the liquid and uh, air, uh, changing now as uh, Katie Coleman adjusts the angle of the wedge-shaped container. I can see them now, the 
the, the power is up, and I can see that they are in 45 degrees from the vertical and horizontal. Well, the color sure does make a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, I wish we could enjoy that, too. Well, you guys are doing a great job. Uh, we, we're getting some really fantastic data. Right now, I can see the color IR, but unfortunately, I'm looking at it on a black and white monitor, but I can still see a lot more in that display than I see in the one here on board. Yeah, well, that's why it's, it's so much more helpful for us to have have this color. Uh, but uh, it, the the PIV is also the particles uh, flow vis is coming through really much clearer than I had anticipated. Yeah, it looks really good. Zero gravity is a wonderful thing, isn't it? It sure is. I wish I were enjoying it with you guys. You're really getting us some fantastic data, and uh, everything is uh, just just great from our from our point of view. Uh, everybody in the STDC crew wants to really thank you for the kind of effort you're putting out. It's our pleasure to do it. That's why we like to come to space, and I uh, wish we could bring more of you with us up here. But there's, it gets a little crowded. Yeah, well, it, it'd be nice for an old guy to be up there, I tell you. Okay, Kathy, I think we've got to wind it up now. So, uh, again, give our best to everybody aboard, and uh, uh, keep, we're looking forward to getting more good stuff from you. This is Space Lab Operations Control Huntsville, and uh, we're now seeing on the downlink video as uh, Kathy Thornton proceeds to deploy uh, a drop of liquid in the uh, drop physics module to uh, proceed. Al Sacco, rather, is uh, actually running the controls for this experiment. We copy, Kathy. Again, as uh, go ahead, Al. What do you think of my big drop? It's a beautiful drop. Let's deploy it. Okay, I'm just waiting for free drift. Al Sacco's reference to free drift being uh, the uh, condition where uh, the orbiter is put in a uh, mode with no thruster jet firings uh, temporarily, uh, and that gives the most uh, stable and vibration-free environment, and uh, that's uh, the condition desired when you're actually deploying a, operation like deploying a drop, a very sensitive operation such as this. STDCE copies. This is Space Lab Operation Sunsville. Here we uh, again uh, take some video from the surface tension driven convection experiment, which Kathy Thornton is running again and uh, going through. Uh, another uh, experiment run with uh, some different parameters. Uh, 
dial in the, uh, the majority of the uh, adjustments that we keep hearing on air to ground about uh, controlling this experiment involve uh, the uh, amount of electrical energy being uh, used uh, turning up the power uh, on a uh, laser light source and that laser then is uh, directed down onto the surface of the little container of oil um, and it shines uh, onto the surface. We can see a bright spot there where it is uh, uh, reflecting off the uh, upper surface of the oil container.